America under Joe Biden has not been a good friend of Israel. They resumed funding the terrorist-supporting Palestinian Authority. They gave Iran $6 billion. And after Hamas attacked Israel, the US State Department quickly put out a statement saying, we urged all sides to refrain from violence and retaliatory attacks. Terror and violence solves nothing. It's a completely false equivalence implying that the baby murdering Hamas and Israel trying to defend itself are somehow morally equivalent or equally to blame. But note the dramatic contrast in the response from Germany. Berlin lit up the Brandenburg Gate with the Israeli flag. They flew the Israeli flag at the president's official residence, the Reichstag building and at the chancellery. They suspended all aid to Palestinian territories subject to a review. And Chancellor Olaf Schultz said, at the moment, there is only one place for Germany, the place side by side with Israel. Even German media has been less biased than US media. The Washington Post talks about both sides reeling from the attack. The New York Times wrote about Hamas militants instead of Hamas terrorists. Meanwhile, Spiegel writes about a targeted massacre and desired Hamas's awful ransom. You get a much more accurate view of the situation now from German media. That did not used to be the case. In recent decades, America has been Israel's number one ally. But what happens going forwards? Things would certainly get better for Israel under a Republican administration. But every time America veers towards the Democrats, they start working with Israel's enemies. Right now, the left is in power in both the US and Germany. And of the two, when the left gets into power, well, Germany seems like the one that's more reliable. Specific Bible prophecies tell us that Israel is going to increasingly turn to Germany, biblical Assyria, for protection. Watch for that to happen after this betrayal from America's left. But should Israel make that switch? Well, there's a warning that comes from another arch that was lit up with Israel's flag in the wake of Hamas's attack, the Arch of Titus in Rome. It's kind of an odd image seeing this arch lit up with the Israeli flag. It was erected to celebrate Rome's destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD. And it shows the artifacts from Jerusalem's temple being carried off by Roman soldiers. The Roman Empire brutally destroyed Jerusalem. That empire attacked Israel long before Islam existed. The Bible has a lot to say about this Roman Empire. The book of Daniel describes four world ruling empires. And this last, the Roman Empire was dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. This Roman Empire would be resurrected 10 times. And we see that spirit coming back again and again. This empire is rising one last time within Europe. And as has happened many times before, Germany is going to be at its head. The book of Revelation tells us that seven of these resurrections were led by a church in the form of the so-called Holy Roman Empire. That's what's rising now in Europe. So it may look like there's a close friend of Israel rising, but the Bible says that this new Holy Roman Empire is going to betray the Jews. This is a dangerous time for Israel, but this is the last resurrection of the Holy Roman Empire. It is leading to a time of peace and harmony for Israel in the Middle East and for all mankind. You can read more about this in our free book, Jerusalem in Prophecy.